A Pontiac teenager is behind bars and awaiting charges. He is accused of gunning down a young man during what police believe was a drug deal for other teens in the neighborhood. He becomes the latest in a growing list of young people whose friends will not see graduate from high school. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson joins us live now with a look at this ongoing problem and the resources available to try and help. And boy, it sounds like a lot of kids really need help in our community right now, Jen. Well, you know, Carolyn, I spoke with the Oakland County Sheriff a couple of weeks ago who was telling me that overall in the municipalities they police, like Pontiac, they're seeing an average of a nearly 10% increase in calls. That's in general. And they're seeing a big increase in violent calls, a big increase in calls related to mental health. Now, coupled with the fact that school has been closed in person classes here in Pontiac since March and a lot of after school programs have been canceled too. You've got a lot more teens stuck at home in the midst of all of this and what they're seeing is traumatizing. 18 year old Christopher Grant Alexander was shot and killed Friday night in Pontiac. We went to middle school and high school together. And he's just the latest on a list of classmates. One mother tells me her daughter has lost since middle school. There's been a lot of kids. This is about maybe the eighth kid that's died in the last two or three years that she knows. Eight kids classmates gone in just two or three years. Now that's death from violence as well as drugs, illness and car crashes, but still it's a number that surprised me. Do those numbers surprise you? No, it does not surprise me. Cassandra Phipps, the program manager for Easter Seals, Michigan, says she's worked with many teens in the Pontiac area. It's a city with a history of widely known financial struggles and a high crime rate. There is a lot of trauma, especially in that area, because of um, what's going on in the communities at the area. And um, trauma does not just affect the child, but it affects the entire family and the, the whole unit and the neighborhood. Now, as I made calls today to try to find some resources, some groups that maybe are still in operation to help teens, I discovered that a lot of resources rely on referrals from schools, and those particular nonprofits say their referrals have been significantly down since the pandemic started because school hasn't been in session. They're not getting the same number of referrals from the Pontiac School District. Hopefully, one nonprofit says those referrals will go back up once in-person classes begin again towards the end of October. But meanwhile, Easter Seals says they do have programs available and help available. They just want to make sure that families know what they have to offer. We'll talk more about that coming up at six o'clock. Reporting live here in Pontiac, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Yeah, Jennifer Ann, such an important story so kids don't fall through the cracks. We'll be watching for your story on Action News at six. Thank you so much.